Welcome back. As promised, we've come back and we're going to be viewing the dancing scenes for the other characters now because we did see Toa during the actual Let's Play itself. So obviously we're going to be splitting this up into a girls and boys situation like we did with the bike ride. I think that's when we did it, didn't we? And now I'm going to also attach Toa's scene to this video just so it's complete as a video considering it's like the girls, etc. And I think the, I can't think of any one option I'm going to attach to the boys video. So if you're looking for that, it'll be at the end of the next video. But we'll be starting this with Elisa. But if you do actually want to jump around and like find a particular character, just check the time codes down in the description or the chapters at the bottom of the video. And as for a commentary, probably not going to do any unless it actually pertains to the overarching story of Trails, Kiseki, whatever you want to call it. So... There probably won't be much for me other than reading out any green text lines that come up or something like that. But anyway, let's begin with Elisa. Elisa. Rain, is your sister okay? Yeah, actually, she's the only reason I had the courage to come over here. Would you dance with me? What? Me? That was the idea. Uh... Is that a no? Mm. <laughs> All right. Let's get a little closer to the bonfire then. Okay. Everyone's still at it. <sighs> I wish I still had that much energy left. Still, it's not like there's a lot more festival to use it on. It's strange. It feels like the whole year's been building up to this festival, but... Yeah, it felt like it was over in the blink of an eye. Both the festival and the year as a whole. <laughs> exactly. It won't be long until the second years graduate and we'll be in their shoes. Time really does fly, huh? Yeah. It's hard to believe so many months have passed since we all first met. But I do have to wonder whether any of us have gotten any closer to figuring out what we're going to do with our lives. I wish I knew. I might have looked confident when I told Mother that I'd show her how to run the company by the time I'd graduated. But that was in the heat of the moment. I honestly don't know whether I'd drive Reinford straight into the ground or not. How could you know? Still... Still, there's one thing I do know. No matter how difficult the odds, our class always finds a way through. Growing up should be no different. <laughs> you stole my line. <laughs> I think you need some new material. I'm getting used to your speeches by now. Well, that, and... I believe it. I think everything is going to work out, as long as our class is together. As long as you and I are together. I... Uh, <laughs> uh forget I said anything. Alisa. Rain took Alisa's hand gently in his. <sighs> then let's stay together. We're still looking for our places in the world, but maybe they're right next to each other. I hope so. Me too. Laura? Oh, Rain. Perfect timing. Would you like to dance? Huh? <laughs> My father and instructor Sarah make for rather impressive dancing partners. Watching them makes me want to go up and dance myself. <laughs> to be honest, I came over here ready to ask you the same thing. Oh? Still, since the guy traditionally asks the girl, I might as well. Would you like to dance with me? <laughs> I'd be delighted.
Whew, that was exhausting. <laughs> well, I didn't imagine either of us would have much energy left over after our performance. Still, that didn't keep dancing with you from being a lot of fun. I don't get the chance to dance very often, especially at big events like this. <laughs> My family's the same way. We might be nobles, but we're not exactly a common sight at high society gatherings. I suppose this was a new experience for the both of us then. Attending this academy has given me the chance to see sides of myself that I didn't even know existed. Same here. When I first enrolled in this academy, I wanted nothing more than to improve my swordsmanship. But when I arrived, I met people whose values differed wildly from my own. People like you and Fee. That allowed me to see the world in ways I never considered. Thanks to you and our other classmates, I've gained far more than combat training, and I am truly grateful. <laughs> You're making me blush. I feel the same way, though. How so? At least you had something in mind when you enrolled. My decision to come here was half-hearted at best, but I know now that it was the right choice. If I hadn't joined this academy, I never would have met you or any of our other classmates. Reen. Besides, you and I have something even closer than our other classmates. We're both followers of the Way of the Sword, and we keep pushing each other beyond our limits. I'm grateful for that. As am I. And I suppose that's enough for now. Uh huh? <laughs> Don't worry, it's nothing. I'm glad that the two of us have another year to train alongside each other. Likewise. Emma. Oh, Reen. I wasn't expecting to find you here. Oh, well, I wanted to get away from all the excitement for a little while. How's your sister? She's just fine. Actually, she was the one who encouraged me to see you. This might not be the right time since you're trying to rest, but would you dance with me? What? Me? Couldn't possibly. I mean, I'm sure there are plenty of people you'd rather dance with, or who are better dancers. Definitely not. But should I take that as a no? <laughs> you should take it as an I'd love to. Whew. That's a relief. Shall we? <laughs> Everyone's still having fun. <laughs> it makes sense. This festival is practically the culmination of everything we've done since the start of the year. I'm sure everyone has plenty of things they want to talk about with each other. You're probably right. I'm really sorry. I feel like I've done nothing but keep secrets from all of you since we first met. You don't need to apologize for that. It's not like you were doing it to hurt or trick us or anything, right? Of course not. But I still feel so guilty about having to do it. Even though we've spent so much time together, I feel like I'm not really one of you. That I don't belong here. That's not true. You do belong here. You're an important part of our class and every one of us cares about you. Really? Everybody has their secrets. You don't need to share every little detail of your life for someone to understand you. But if you ever feel like your secrets are too heavy to handle alone, 
I'm always willing to listen. It doesn't matter what it is. We'll be there, ready to accept it, and whatever it might mean about you. Reen. I'm sure that someday I'll be able to tell you the truth. So, will you be willing to hold on until then? No matter how long it takes. Hmm. Thank you. Fee. Reen, is there a problem? <laughs> no, I... I was just looking for you. Are you up to anything right now? Nope. In that case, would you like to dance with me? I've never danced before. Don't worry, I can lead. But if you don't want to, we don't have to. Let's do it. <laughs> okay then. You're a natural, Fee. <laughs> but I guess I should have known you'd catch on quickly. It wasn't too hard once I got the hang of it. And... I felt at ease with you leading. What do you mean? It reminded me of our leader. The Jaeger King I've heard about? Yep. When we're all together, it feels like we're all part of a family. Just like it did back in the core. But there's something about you in particular that reminds me of him. Is that a good thing? You don't look or act like him at all. But I always felt comfortable when I was with him. And that's how I feel about you too. That's kind of embarrassing. I, I don't really know what to say. No, I do. I'm happy to hear that you think of me like that. Everyone needs a family, blood-related or not. Hmm. It's been a long time since Zephyr split up. But for the first time in a while, I wish I could see everybody again. I didn't expect to hear that. <laughs> But I think it's a good thing. I hope you'll get the chance to see them again soon. Me too. Milliam! Hi, Irene! Hey, aren't you gonna dance? Well, that's actually why I'm here. Do you want to dance with me? Huh? Me? But I've never even danced with anybody before! No worries, you can just follow my lead. So, what do you say? Well, the leftovers at the food stalls were really calling my name. But sure, why not? I guess if every other girl has rejected your offer, I can find room in my heart to help you out. <laughs> Thanks.
it was my first dance, I was awesome out there. More proof that I'm good at everything, I guess. You say that because you didn't have to lead. But as long as you had fun, that's the important thing. <laughs> this academy's got fun new stuff to do every time I turn around. Sometimes I almost forget I'm here on a mission. Sounds like a problem for an agent. Oh, maybe. I don't know. It's like there's two of me. One was sent here by the intelligence division, and one's just an average student. But I don't know which of those two me's is the real one. What do you mean? It's just... I never even got the chance to go to Sunday school. This is the first time I've ever had the chance to live a normal life, and it's so much fun. But I feel kind of... conflicted. Milliam? I don't think I can give you an easy answer here. But I think they're both you. Uh, what? You've helped us more times than I can count. Maybe that was because of your duty to the intelligence division. Maybe it wasn't. But at the end of the day, you're a classmate and a friend to every one of us. So I don't think that knowing which part of you is the real you is quite as important as you think. Maybe it isn't. And maybe it's selfish of me to say that. But it's how we all feel. No matter who you are, you're still our friend. And I'd be happy if you felt the same way about all of us. <laughs> I do! Besides, for now, being your friend is good enough for me. I'm just gonna have fun now and figure things out later. <laughs> That's the spirit. Instructor? Oh, it's you. Yikes, you sound like you just got dumped. For your information, I wasn't dumped. The Viscount and I finished our dance and he went on his way. But what are you doing here? Are you sure you should be leaving your sister alone with Patrick on the prowl? Well, she can take care of herself. And besides, she was the one who encouraged me to come your way. Will you dance with me? I know the Viscount's a hard act to follow, but still. Well, well. Reen Schwarzer, I always knew one day you'd recognize me for the paragon of womanhood I am. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were ready to graduate from giggling schoolgirls up to ladies with real class. But let me guess, I should come back in a few years? <laughs> No, we can let you skip a couple of grades for the night. Just don't expect me to lead. <laughs> I'm sure I'll manage. You look happy. <laughs> After all this hard work, I deserve a little bit of fun. And with the way you led, I'd say you do too. I'm surprised you don't sweep more ladies off their feet. Jeez, when you put it like that, it makes me sound like some Casanova with a rose clenched in my teeth. I can't imagine that I was even half as good as the Viscount. You weren't. But that doesn't mean you didn't have a certain youthful charm. Besides, I had fun. You're not the only student who asked me to dance, but you're one of the few who knew what he was doing. Yeah. Speaking of youthful charm, if you don't mind me asking, what were you doing back before you became a bracer? Well, 
Have you ever heard of a country called North Ambria? It's north of the Empire, if the name didn't tip you off. That's where I'm from. North Ambria, huh? I don't know a lot about it, but I've heard it's a hard place to eke out a living. That's a nice way of putting it. The climate alone keeps a lot of people out, and that's the least of its problems. The only thing keeping the country afloat financially at this point is a single Jaeger Corps that got its start there. Supported by a Jaeger Corps? So if you've ever wondered why I'm big on telling you guys to go out and enjoy life while you're still young, that's why. <laughs> it's not really like me to get all sentimental, but I can't help but want you guys to enjoy what I never could. Instructor Sarah, it's not too late, you know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you about to profess your undying love for me or something? You're no less a bona fide member of Class 7 than I am. And you're still young, so it may be a little belated, but why not enjoy your youth with us? We're all in this together. I... <laughs> I can't believe I'm finding comfort in the arms of a younger man. I can tell you put your heart into that one. But really, that's like a B-rank pickup line at best. <sighs> I'm not trying to hit on you. I meant it. <laughs> sure. Keep telling yourself that, lover boy. Whatever the reason, though. It made me happy to hear. One of these days, I'm gonna have to drag you along to this great bar I know. Once you're old enough to drink, anyway. <laughs> and here I was hoping you were offering to sneak me in. Toa! Oh, hey, Reen! Are you finally done with all of your student council work? <laughs> done is a relative term, but for now, you bet. What happened to your sister, by the way? Wasn't she with you? <laughs> Actually, if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be standing here. Toa, would you like to dance with me? Of course. But don't worry about it if it would make you uncomfortable or something. <laughs> All right, then. I'm honestly glad you asked, just surprised. Can I ask you to lead, though? Of course. Thanks, Reen. It must have been no small feat for you to lead, given how... small I am. <laughs> Not at all. I had fun. Still, it's hard to believe that the festival is almost over now. Yeah, it is. It was a lot of hard work, but I loved every minute of it. Your concert even topped the one we put on last year. <sighs> I is something wrong? <laughs> Sorry. Just thinking that this is my last Academy Festival got me all emotional. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm supposed to be setting an example for you, and yet here I am. <laughs> How embarrassing. <sighs> Reen gently stroked Toa's head. Oh. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. Nobody at this school has put more work into this festival than you have. It makes sense to be emotional. And while I'm sure it's hard to leave this behind, I think I speak for everyone when I tell you how grateful we are. Thank you. Reen. <laughs> Thank you, too. But, uh... Huh? I might be 
be shorter than you, but I am a second year. I don't think it's really appropriate for you to start stroking my head out of nowhere like that. I I'm so sorry. I do it to my sister all the time, so it's kind of turned into a bad habit of mine. Oh, Lisa's already chewed me out for that before, too. Oh. Oh, really? So he's a serial head rubber. Still, I haven't had anyone fawn over me like that since I was a kid. It was kind of nice, to be honest. <laughs> you can tell that you're an older brother. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. There's not a lot of time left until I graduate. But with you here, I'm sure the Academy is going to be in good hands once I'm gone. Well, I'll have a lot to live up to. But I'll be sure to make this Academy an even better place than it is now. <laughs> then it's a promise. <laughs> <laughs>